Hello students, I am Mrs. Puravidas, Kendra Vidyalaya, Sectorate R.K. Puram. Today we are going to discuss the chapter Principles of Inheritance, under which we are going to learn about the three topics, genetic disorders, mutation and pedigree analysis. Now what are mutations? Now you must have seen a different population having different kind of human beings which are the major source of genetic variations. Second, disease variations help to survive. The term mutation was introduced by Hugo de Rice in 1901 when he observed a certain change in the plant called prime rose. To understand mutation, let us go back to central dogma which states that DNA forms RNA by transcription and the RNA forms protein by translation. How could we relate that? That means there is a change in the DNA sequence and change in any DNA sequence which leads to a change in mRNA sequence. Now since the RNA forms a protein, so ultimately the polypeptide that is formed get changed and that leads to a change in the genotype and phenotype. So we get the different characters, so we get the variations. So we could relate the mutation a change in the DNA sequence. Now another very important question, how common are the mutations? You will be surprised to know that these occurs at a frequency of about 1 in every 1 billion base pairs and everybody has about 6 mutations in each cell in their body. Isn't that surprising? Now you must be having one question in your mind. If I have that many mutation, why I don't look strange? But you know the answer. Why? Because these mutations are not always seen. Now let us study the types of mutations. We are going to discuss the following types. Deletions, insertion, duplication, substitution and frame shift mutation. Now let us first start with the deletions. As the name indicate, deletion means loss. Let us write a DNA sequence which is a hypothetical G G T C T C C T C A C G. Now let us remove the T. So the T is deleted. Now just read the sequence. So it becomes G G T C T C C C A C G. That means the sequence is changed, the RNA will be changed and ultimately the polypeptide. This polypeptide may be an abnormal protein. So deletion means the loss of one or more nitrogenose bases from a segment of DNA that constitutes a gene. So ultimately what is your reading frame becomes G G T C T C C A C G. Now let us start with the second type of mutation that is called insertion. Insertion means additions. Additions of one or more nitrogenous bases into a segment of DNA. Again let us write a hypothetical sequence DGT, CTC, CTC, ACG. Now you insert A after GTT. So what is the reading frame becomes GGT, ACT, CCT, ACG which is very much different from the previous one. So that leads to abnormal RNA and that might result into an abnormal protein. The third type is a duplication where two or more nitrogenous bases are inserted into the DNA segment. Let us write a hypothetical sequence GGT, CTC, CT, CACG. Now here you are duplicating the CT. So what is the reading frame? The reading frame becomes GGT, CT, CT, CC, TCA, CG. So again the reading frame changes. Again that leads to an abnormal genotype and the phenotype. Now let us have a very common type of mutation called substitution where one or more nitrogenous bases are replaced in the DNA segment. Again we will start with the hypothetical DNA sequence. 
where it is DGT, CTC, CTC and ACG. Here let us the C is replaced by A after GGT. So what becomes the reading frame now? It becomes GGT, ATC, CTA, CG. So the whole reading frame changes and we get an abnormal protein that result into a mutation. Another type of mutation is called the frame shift mutation where the reading frame totally changes. Now suppose what will happen if the number of bases inserted or deleted is not divisible by 3. Now one question might be wondering you that why we are taking 3? Why we are taking the 3 base pairs? Because the coton is triplet. Write the following sentence in your notebook. The cat ate the rat. You can see each word is having 3 letters which is in analogy with the nitrogenous bases. Now let us see what happens. Now after writing the cat ate the rat, let us you inserted another letter say after the cat you inserted R. So what is the reading frame now? T-H-E, C-A-T, R-A-T, E-T-H, E-R-A-T. Does it mean something? No, it is meaningless. That means it is going to produce an active polypeptide that might kill the cell. Now let us see the result of deletion. Again write the sentence the cat ate the rat. Now let us see that you remove the A. So what is the reading frame becomes T-H-E, C-A-T, T-E-T, H-E-R-A-T. Does it mean something? No. Again it is a meaningless. That means it is producing an abnormal polypeptide because of the change of the frame. There is a total change in the frame in the reading frame. So now we see that how the mutation is caused by addition, deletion, substitution and duplication. Now let us study another very important topic what we call pedigree analysis. You must have heard certain human characters which are specific to families. Such characters are inherited in a family record. Can you name some of them? Now some of these characters are eye color, skin color, facial features. Now how can you analyze such inheritance? So these such inheritance can be analyzed by pedigree analysis. So the pedigree analysis is called the family tree of genetics. The following diagram shows the male and the female and the mating type with the symbols. The square represent the male and the round represent female. The red colored shows affected whether it is male or female. The square one denoting affected male and the round showing affected female. On the other hand the blue one that shows unaffected male and the round shows unaffected female. Under pedigree analysis first we will define the term then we see how to create the symbols and then how to interpret pedigree analysis that is a chart. It is defined as a chart of genetic history of family over several generations. The scientist or a genetic counselor will find out about your family history and make the chart analyze. Now for the interpretation of charts we divide the chart into two types. We find out whether it is autosomal or it is sex linked. A very common tendency is if the most of the males are affected especially it is the X linked a 50-50 ratio between man and woman then it is autosomal. That means the trait is appearing 1 is to 1 ratio in men and women then it becomes autosomal and if it is linked to 6 chromosomes then it becomes sex linked. A very important thing to remember here that mostly the sex linked characters are linked to X chromosome. Now the following chart shows the autosomal dominant. Now a very important question again that how to differentiate whether it is an autosomal or it is a sex linked. 
So, first important point that you have to remember that in the case of autosomal dominant trait, it seldom skips a generation. That means, the trait appears in every generation. In case of autosomal recessive trait, it skips a generation, only homozygous recessive genes occurs and the example is sickle cell anemia. And as the chart indicates, in the sex linked disorder, we see that the trait is linked to the sex chromosome, especially the X chromosome. The next type of trait we found is the Y linked trait, where the trait is directly passes from father to son. So, those traits are called Y linked. Now, let us discuss the genetic disorders in men. The genetic disorders are divided into two types. Mendelian disorder and chromosomal disorder. In general, the genetic disorders they are caused by gene mutation. So, we divide it into Mendelian disorders or chromosomal disorders. Let us first start with the Mendelian disorders. In Mendelian disorders, the mutation is in single gene. This follow principle of inheritance and the traits can be analyzed by pedigree analysis. Let us first consider the gene mutation in autosomes. They are basically recessive trait and the example is phenylketonuria, where there is accumulation and excretion of phenylalanine, the urine becomes black, there is a decreased pigmentation of hair and skin, an abnormal autosomal recessive gene on the chromosome number 12. Another very common is the sickle cell anemia. This is a case of autosomal recessive. Now, there is an abnormal hemoglobin which is produced due to the substitution of glutamic acid by valine. Here in the diagram, you can see the CAC is transcribed into GUG and that results into the substitution of the amino acid. In sickle cell anemia, the RBC becomes sickle shaped. In contrast to the normal RBC which is biconcave. Here in the picture, we can see clearly the difference between the phenotype of the sequel cells and the normal RBC. So, now let us see what are the effects of such RBC. The effects are when the sequel shaped RBC, the RBC degenerate, it clog blood capillaries. So, now you can judge what will happen. If the blood capillaries are clogged, there will be insufficient flow of oxygen, it will lead to the breathing problems and ultimately death. In the case of sickle cell anemia, the gene is lethal in homozygous state. That is, both the chromosomes are having the allele for the sickle cell anemia. Cross between two sickle cell carriers and that is having both the alleles SS and the individual dies. Now, we have some example of autosomal dominant traits. The one is polydictyly. You must have seen that a person having more than five fingers as the picture shows. There is another important is a contraplasia. In this particular, you can see a twin boys. The one is a normal and the other one, although they are twin, but the other one is suffering from a disease a contraplasia and that is the shortening of the normal bones. Now, let us discuss gene mutations in sex chromosomes. So, that means the mutations are linked with the sex chromosomes. First, let us discuss sex linked recessive trait. These traits are common in males and the good examples are color blindness, night blindness and hemophilia. As in the picture, you can see the color blindness, the difference, the patient cannot differentiate between the red and the green. In the night blindness, the patient cannot see in dim light. And in hemophilia, the bleeding does not stop. Now, let us have a detailed insight into hemophilia, which is a sex linked recessive trait. Let us see what are the cause. It is due to changes in the sex chromosome. It was discovered by John Otto in 1803. 
it is due to presence of a recessive sex linked gene small h on X chromosomes. Now let us see that how they are represented. In hemophilia the allele key the normal one is represented by capital X with a capital H. If it is a hemophilic it is represented by X chromosome superscript small h. Now let us see what are the different kind of genotypes that can occur. In the female it could be XH, XH which is a normal female. In a heterozygous condition the female can be a carrier having X superscript capital H, X superscript small h. And the third one which is in the recessive condition that is X superscript small h, X superscript small h. So, this is the condition when the female will show hemophilia. On the other hand in the male genotype we see only one X chromosome. That means Y chromosome has no genes for the hemophilia. The disease is more common in male because it has only one X chromosome and the X chromosome is having the allele for hemophilia and Y has no gene for hemophilia. So, for the male it is very easy to express. Now, let us study some conditions. If a normal father is crossed with the carrier mother, let us see what would be the result. The result is a normal daughter, normal son, a carrier daughter and a hemophilic son. That means, if the mother is carrier that is heterozygous condition and that produces hemophilic son. Now, let us study the mechanism how it happened. If you see the cross, then again you see here the XY father with hemophilia crossed with the mother carrier of hemophilia. The possible outcome for such progeny will be XY son without hemophilia, daughter with hemophilia is having an allele on the X chromosomes, the son with hemophilia XY having hemophilic gene on the X chromosome and daughter carrier with H gene on X chromosome and normal X chromosomes. Now, let us study some chromosomal disorders in men. One of the common disorder is the Down syndrome. Now, let us see what are the genetic basis of this disease. It is due to trisomy of 21 chromosome. It was discovered by Langton in 1866. Trisomy of 21 chromosome that means the 21 chromosome is present in 3 pairs. Now, let us see what are the symptoms of such a disease. The important symptoms are rounded face, broad forehead, permanently open mouth, short neck, flat hands, broad palm and small fingers as you can easily see in the following picture. The next very important disease is the Turner syndrome. Now, what do you observe in the picture? Is it a male or female? It is a female, but is a sterile female. So, the constitution is 44 plus X0. That means, one X chromosome is missing. So, in this kind of disease we see underdeveloped ovaries and breast, small uterus, short stature, heavy neck muscles. Another important chromosomal disorder is Klinefelter syndrome which generally appears in male. Here the genetic makeup is 44 plus XXY that means one X chromosome is extra. So, this kind of male is sterile male. They have undeveloped testes, long limbs, sparse body hairs, mental retardation and enlarged breast. So, after studying this kind of disorders, let us compare the autosomal disorders and sex chromosomal disorders. In autosomal disorders, which is arise by gene mutation in autosome chromosomes, on the other hand in sex chromosomal disorder, the gene mutation occurs in sex chromosome, especially the X chromosome. In autosomal, both the sexes are affected. On the other hand in the sex chromosomal it is the male which is more affected. 
The third important difference is the mutated chain could be dominant or recessive in the case of autosomal disorder. On the other hand, in sex chromosomal disorder, it is mainly the recessive. The gene mutated is mostly recessive. Now, let us summarize our topics that we have studied. The mutations are sudden inheritable variation in genotype of organism. Second, the mutation can be gene mutation or chromosomal aberrations or disorders. Then third, it is caused by substitution, deletion, insertion and duplication. Inheritance of a trait in a family can be analyzed by pedigree analysis and traits can be autosomal or sex linked. Now, let us have a small quiz. Try this. Who proposed mutation theory? What is frame shift mutation? What is the result of such mutation? Draw a pedigree analysis for an autosomal recessive trait. Give the genetic basis for Down syndrome and what is the genetic cause of sickle cell anemia. So, students, in the next episode, we are going to discuss the chapter molecular basis of inheritance. Under that chapter, we will first discuss DNA structure and the search for genetic material. Thank you. Thank you.